Well, it's been a while since I've had some time to work on the uh, Union Station project. You can see I've got uh, a bit more work done in the front here. I'm working on getting these little window frames in here. And originally I was trying to uh, use some of the transparency film that I've got for this project. And you can see a bit of it there, transparency film. Uh, and I was gluing these window frames directly to the film first and then applying the film to the openings. However, I found it easier to uh, put the, uh, the glazing right onto the back of the uh, model first and then come back with these small frames. These are 20 by 20 uh, styrene strips, they're real small. So uh, I've been doing that uh, on all the window openings here and it turns out it's easier rather than trying to put the frames on the transparency first and then apply the whole thing to the window it's been easier to put the uh, put the transparency right into the back of the model and then come back with these smaller pieces you can see I've got the door frames in here window frames all along on the front entry here window frames are going in uh, everywhere I've got to uh, put the small frames in these one these uh, openings here you can see I've got the transparency uh, glazing in there already so the whole front of the station now except for some of the framing on the windows uh, I've got I've got all the uh, window screen in there that's again that's a fiberglass window screen that I'm using for the frames in the uh, uh, windows here and here's a look at the the back side of the station one thing I've uh, I did here by mistake I didn't leave enough space for this concourse wall in here and as a result I wound up having to fill in some of the windows uh, in the corner and I decided to do the same over here on this side even though I did just barely have room for the windows decided to fill it in so it doesn't look quite so uneven there and you can see the, the window frames little white uh, window frames I've put in here and the window screens back side of the concourse I've got all the uh, window screens in here a little hard to see I'll turn it for you All the window screens are in there. And all the way to the end here. So I've got most of the openings done. I've got a little work to do on the other side here. I'll try to get to that in the video here. You can see the side isn't painted yet or colored, whatever you want to call it. And I hope I won't have too much trouble <laughs> working at this end where I've already put the uh, the columns on there it might be a little tough to get behind there and paint it and, and uh, put the uh, window frames in so I'll have to see how I can manage that and that's all on the uh, the north wing uh, the south wing as you can see uh, still needs a lot of attention um, I've got one entry there I've got one last piece to build and that'll be the, uh, the columns here at the entry for this, the end of the south wing. Um, this was the very first piece that was built for the project and ironically it seems to be the last one that will be finished. I'm concentrating on the north wing and uh, get that all done here and that will fit over. This will fit onto the end of the project down here and complete uh, can't really put it down I've got too much stuff in the way but you get the idea it'll end up joining the uh, north wing down here at this end so that's what I'm working on now trying to uh, finish all the coloring and the window frames and I want to get all that done 
So when it comes time to place the clock tower in here, this will have to be glued in place and it'll make the uh, north wing a bit more cumbersome for handling and turning and all that. But I want to make sure I've got all this stuff done on here. Then this will be glued in place and then I'll be able to start working on these kind of tricky roof panels that will go in place around the clock tower. So, that's where we're at. We'll try to get some stuff done here today. Well, as you can see, we've got all the window and door frames on the north wing complete, on the front of the, uh, the north wing. Next step will be to move on to uh, roof panels and try to put the roof panels around the base of the clock tower and get everything all tied together here. So eager to see how that turns out. It's going to be a little tricky working the uh, roof panels around the base of the clock tower here, but 
we'll see how that goes and then we also have to redo some of the lighting I've pretty much had to <laughs> tear out all the lighting kind of jump the gun on that a bit so I'm gonna redo the lighting roof panels will be coming up next and also have to get these uh, little wing walls attached to the front of the building right now they're just kind of freestanding all the uh, painting or coloring I guess you can call it I'm not really sure to call it coloring or painting but uh, that's all pretty much done for the north wing give you a little overview of how things look here so I'm gonna leave it there for now and uh, I hope uh, hope you've been enjoying the series and uh, thanks very much for coming by and uh, always appreciate all the viewers and subscribers so if your attention and interest to this project has always been very much appreciated so thanks very much for coming uh, we'll do more on this uh, next video and thank you very much happy railroading thanks for coming thanks for staying thanks for watching Hey, welcome to the uh, Minneapolis Northwestern N-Scale Model Railroad layout. Hope you enjoyed the video, the update on the uh, Union Station project. It's been a fun project. It's been a long project. Hope to get it done soon. Hope you enjoyed the update. Doing something a little different uh, this time. A while back, uh, I think it was about last month sometime, I got all kinds of activity on my YouTube channel. Lots of comments and new subscribers, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. It turned out a fellow model railroader had given a shout out to me and my layout and my videos and I thought wow that's a really nice idea what a what a nice thing to do and I was quite flattered and honored especially since this fellow is a very good modeler and he does lots of really good fun informative videos you may know him he's pretty well known in the uh, model railroad industry his name is Roy Smith thank you Roy for the call out that you did last month or the shout out you call him and I was very pleased, very flattered. So I'm doing the, returning the favor to you. And uh, if you haven't seen any of Roy's work, I recommend you go check out his channel and his layout. He is modeling the Union Pacific Evanston subdivision. And he's doing a wonderful job on his layout. He's doing some, uh, uh, right now he's working on some pretty exciting changes to his track plan. So he's, he's pretty excited about that too. So go check him out, have a look at Roy's work. And I've got just a little sample of some of his things here, too. We'll take a look at that at the end of the video. But um, I've got a lot of viewers and subscribers and uh, regret that I just don't have the time to go out and look at all the wonderful videos that all these uh, great people produce. And I like Roy's idea of doing a little shout out to fellow model railroaders. So uh, I'm going to try to start doing that, too, with uh, the monthly video journals and uh, try to give a little recognition to uh, all these wonderful people that have been uh, kind enough to subscribe and leave nice comments and so forth on uh, my channel and about my layout and so forth. I think it's a great idea, Roy. I'm going to follow suit. And uh, each month I'm going to try to call out, uh, do a special call out or shout out, I should say, to uh, fellow model railroaders who have been so kind to come by and leave nice comments uh, about uh, my work here. and. Uh, Try to do uh, a little bit of payback for all the wonderful things that uh, people have said about this layout. So look forward to that and uh, we'll do a, a call out to uh, another model railroader uh, 
next month on the next uh, video. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, video this month. And I certainly do appreciate all the viewers and subscribers that have stopped by to uh, see what's going on in the layout room here at the Minneapolis Northwestern Inscale Model Railroad. So thanks so much for coming by. So with that, we're going to wrap it up here today. I sure appreciate all the uh, viewers and subscribers, all the wonderful kind comments that uh, people drop off in the comment section here. I do try to respond to each one. So thank you very much for all your interest and support. Until next time on the uh, monthly video journal, we'll see you next month. And uh, probably going to be working still on the Union Station project. I'm kind of on a roll on that, so I want to keep going, get that thing done. It's been a long project, and I'm eager to see it finished. So until then, thanks for stopping by again, and a happy Mono Railroading to everyone. You okay? I didn't hurt you, did I? Yeah, okay, good, good. You all right? Okay, he's good. Oh, yeah.